a local breaking news alert out of Jacksonville's west side. Take a look. This is where a car crashed into a home. We're told that the crash happened on Rooker Road a couple of hours ago, and we're still working to get more details. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker is live at that home. Marilyn, what can you tell us? So witnesses are saying that the man's brakes went out and that's how this whole thing started. But get this, when the car was in the home, they say the driver was not in the car at this time. I want to show you how it started. Came off the street here and take a look at this fence. He rammed into this first. Now, if we pan down, you'll see the tire tracks and even he hit the side of that bush and it uprooted out of the ground. Follow the tire tracks even more all the way up to the side of this house. You can see bricks on the ground and even wedged up against that car. You can see a dent in the back door and a big piece of a brick on the windshield. Take a listen to what the man who was laying in his bed where that car came in had to say about this entire accident. Oh, the first thing I remember was I was really asleep in my room. And that and room right there. That room right there. And like a second, I heard some like skipping. And right when I heard it, my eyes, I woke up. I looked over, and next thing I know, that car ran right into my, right into the bedroom. It's like the till, I can hear the wheel still spinning, so I wasn't sure if it was about to keep coming or was it, was it about to explode or somebody was in there or not. My wife came in, told me to get up. I got dressed, it just came outside. He says right now he's just feeling grateful that no one was hurt. He says both JSO and JFRD came to the home to check everything out. And ultimately, a tow truck came and removed that car. And so right now, we're still working to figure out where the situation is with the person who is driving this vehicle. Once we get that information, we'll update you both on air and online at newsforjax.com. Reporting live tonight, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.